diagnose how they were able to run the ball uh, so effectively in the second half as you look back and sort of do the film and all that stuff? Yeah, just going back through film, um, really just got to make sure we clean up our uh, run, fit, run fit gaps a little bit better. Um, I thought we did a good job, you know, fitting our gaps in that first half. And, uh, you know, in the second half, it, you know, uh, we started to misfit a little bit, but nothing that we can't fix. Um, we're going to make sure, like, that's a vocal point, a focus point uh, going into this week as far as making sure we're gap sound in the run game. Uh, just make sure that, you know, we're, we're doing what we got to do there in practice and make sure we're focused on that. They were able to have so much success doing it when when they were, it seemed pretty clear that everybody knew that's what they were trying to do. Yeah, definitely, you know, uh, we weren't happy with that. Um, as a defense, we pride ourselves in being able to stop the run and, uh, we weren't happy being uh, allowing that, uh, so we're gonna make sure that we clean that up in practice this week. Is it, it like, you know, you, you've got the the ten point lead late, and then they just kind of start imposing their will. What's it like standing on the field, you know, just trying so hard to make a play and make something happen, you know, knowing that, you know, hey, if we're gonna win this, we we've got to make a play here. Yeah, uh, you know, it definitely was a mindset of just making sure that we just try to just keep fighting. I'm really proud of my guys, uh, the way that we fought out there during the game. Uh, obviously, there's, there's room for improvement, which we're going to try to do. But uh, I'm overall, you know, I'm happy with like, the, the effort that we had out there on the field, um, the, will, the will to win that we showed out there on the field. Um, but we just got to try to look this week, look forward, try to improve, uh, try to make sure that, you know, if we're ever in that, those situations again, um, we're prepared and we, we, we know, we know what, what we have to do and just make sure that we're cleaning up those mistakes so we don't make those mistakes. You're going to get everybody's name shot. Because you're Clarkson. Yeah. When you see Miami players running through your bench area, you know, at the end of the game celebrating, does that stick with you too? That, you know, this has got to get turned around fast? Yeah, it's definitely something that, uh, you know, you notice as a player and you don't like. But at the end of the day, I mean, shoot, they, they deserve to be able to um, celebrate a win. That's a big win for them. Um, and, you know, like you said, every, every, Clips is always going to get everybody's best. Um, so they deserve to celebrate. But you got, as a, being on the other side of that, you know, you just got to move on. Uh, we got we to win with class and also lose with class. So I, I feel like our guys handled that very well. And um, just making sure that we, you know, stay together. Uh, we told them we'd w walk out there, told, told the opposing team good game the players on their team, but uh, I thought we handled that very well. You know, the expectation, expectation of the program is that high. Um, obviously, when you came here, you made the six straight playoffs. The way that the last few seasons have, have unfolded, like how does it sit with you? Uh, because it, is it, are you trying to achieve those expectations, or is it just kind of, this is just reality of the way things go? Well, I, f I feel like, you know, um, being at a program like Clemson, the expectation it definitely is very high, making playoffs, winning national championships. Um, but, you know, as, as we've been here, we still have done a lot of winning. I feel like once a lot of big games. And, um, you know, the goal is always to win it all. Um, you know, this year, it, you know, we had some tough losses and, and whatnot. But, um, you know, here losing for at Clemson is never the expectation. We always expect to win, and we just got to get back to that. I feel like, uh, you know, as myself personally, as well as, uh, you know, my teammates and everything, just uh, learning how to improve and try to grow from the losses and not just let them linger. You know, we always try to, this, you know, the same mentality that we have even after a win. Um, but, you know, this week coming off, off a loss is going to be that same mentality, look to grow, take coaching, and um, just try to continue to improve and focus on what we got coming up and not what has happened in the past. Shape the team goals when the initial goal was such a lofty aspiration that's, that's off the table. Is that is that hard to do as a collective group? Uh, really, uh, it's not that hard. Just it's just really just having a good mindset of you know what you got coming up and uh, trying to look on you know what we have right now in this moment and right now in the moment is uh, going up against an NC State and winning that game. So 
you know, as like the leaders on the team and one of the leaders, that's pretty much the message I'm trying to preach to the guys. Just we can't control what happened in the past, um, but we can control uh, what's going to happen coming up this week in NC State. So we got to make sure we're doing all the little things, all the details, and really keyed in on the game plan that we ha what we'll have built up for the game and just focus on what we have to do. I'll say I'll say I can't think of like a specific one right now, but the message that uh, is being preached to us by co all our coaches is just, you know, just focus on what you know we got coming up. Uh, try to fix the mistakes and you know just try to have a one game mentality, one season game mentality, and you know if you do that, then we'll finish out the season strong. Um, and we just gotta try to just take it every week, take every game with that that type of mindset of it's a one game season. And we got to beat this team that or this opponent that we have right now. Any questions for Jeremiah from Zoom? Hey, Jeremiah, Trevor Gross from SteveBackers.com. Um, the, the defense has played well enough to win every game. And, and obviously, you know, the, the turnover bursts have been catastrophic by the offense, uh, particularly the fumbles. Is there anything that, that you guys, defense, can do, like during practice, to like make it extra? Well, uh, you know, we we try to practice every game or every every practice, just you know, on both sides of the ball, but making both sides of the ball compete. Uh, you know, offense makes us you know compete, and we make them compete. But we try to bring every practice, you know, with that you know game type type of mentality of you know how we try to give uh, each other looks of what we're going to see on game day. But you know, overall, that's just uh, comes down to fundamentals uh, on both sides of the ball. I mean, not just you know on the offensive side, but there's uh, stuff on the defensive side that we need to clean up as well to uh, play that complementary football. Thanks, Jeremiah. Thanks. Any other additional questions for Jeremiah? All right. Thanks, Jeremiah. Appreciate Thank you. It.